Hey, what's going on? This is Marcos. Today, I want to take you on another behind the scenes look into a corporate video shoot. For this one, we needed our talent to read from a teleprompter. Our main camera was the Sony FS7 with the Sigma 1835 and the Atomos Ninja 5. For the teleprompter, I used a one take only pad prompter on a lie stand. Then I used the PromSmart Pro app on my iPad because it recognizes when the talent is speaking, it will detect where they are in the script and move with their voice. I highly recommend it because it helps the talent have control over the speed of the scrolling words. My camera operator was managing the second camera, which was a Sony a7 III on the Kenobo P1 slider with the S2 motor. What's nice about the Kenobo setup is we can get consistent parallax slider shots without touching the camera. Our main key light was the Godox 60W with a 48 inch softbox. Then we had two more lights bouncing into the ceiling to bring up the ambience in the room. Lastly, I set up a director's monitor using the Hollyland Marsh 400S wireless video transmission system connected via SDI to my Sony FS7. In these types of shoots, it is very important for the director to see how the talent is performing on camera because reading a teleprompter comes with its own challenges. For those of you that need a visual breakdown, let me reiterate everything I just said in more detail. The first thing I do when I walk in a room is I scope out the backgrounds. I need to decide what is the best angle I can shoot towards and then I build from there. I chose to shoot at an angle towards the door with the windows because it was the only thing breaking apart the white walls. Since the backgrounds were not very interesting, we brought in a big screen TV, which was relevant to the talking point. We had to dim the TV all the way down in order to expose it correctly. Also, we brought in a plant to add interest to the background. Once we have our background set, we know where our talent will sit. I then bring out my main camera and I make sure we can work with what we have. I like to bring in my main key light before I kill all the room lights. I like to have full control of the lighting as much as possible. However, once I turn off the overhead lights, the room usually gets really dark. So what I did is I grabbed a second Godox 60W with a 32 inch softbox and I shot it to the ceiling. Then on the right side of the room, I used a DNO bicolor LED and I shot it into the ceiling as well. This alone brightened up the background so everything was evenly lit. Then we set up the Sony a7 III on the Canova motorized lighter. The Canova can take quite a bit of weight. So we had the Beach Tech Micro Pro sitting below the camera and the Rolink wireless lab system on top of the camera. My camera operator could then monitor the lavalier levels from the Beach Tech. For our main audio source, we set up a boom mic on a C stand and I ran the XLR cable into my Sony FS7 so I too could monitor the audio. Then I set up the one take only teleprompter about six feet away from the talent. From my experience, you want the teleprompter to be no closer than six feet from the talent. Otherwise, you start seeing the talent's eyes scanning from left to right as they're reading. The further you can comfortably get away from the talent, the less eye scanning shows up on camera. Lastly, I set up the director's monitor using the Hollyland Mars 400S and the Desview R7 on a light stand. So this is pretty much the setup. Hopefully this helps you out in your film shoots. If you have any questions or you want to know more about some of the details, please let me know down in the comment section. As always, thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Yeah.